Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we are going to learn about continuous integration overview. Within that, we will go through four pillars of continuous integration, benefits, etc. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your trainer for this AZ400 Azure DevOps Engineer Certification course. So without wasting any more time, let us get into it. So what is continuous integration? Continuous integration or CI is the process of automating the build and testing of code every time a team member commits changes to version control. Continuous integration encourages developers to share their code and unit tests by merging their changes into a shared version control repository after every small task completion. Committing code triggers an automated build system to grab the latest code from the shared repository and to build, test, and validate the full master branch, also known as the trunk or main. The idea is to minimize the cost of integration by making it an early consideration. And developers can discover conflicts of the boundaries between new and existing code early while conflicts are still relatively easy to reconcile. Once the conflict is resolved, work can continue with confidence that the new code honors the requirement of the existing code base. The end goal of continuous integration is to make integration a simple, repeatable process that is part of everyday development workflow in order to reduce integration cost and respond to defects early. Working to make sure the system is robust, automated, and fast while cultivating a team culture that encourages frequent interaction and responsiveness to build issues is fundamental to the success of the strategy. Now let us look into the four pillars of continuous integration. This continuous integration relies on four key elements for successful implementation. A version control system, a package management system, a continuous integration system, and an automated build process. A version control system manages changes to your source control over time, which include Git, Apache Subversion, Team Foundation version control, etc. A package management system is used to install, uninstall, and manage software packages. This include NuGet, Node Package Manager, Chocolatey, Homebrew, RPM, etc. The third pillar is continuous integration system. A continuous integration system merges all developer working copies to a shared mainline several times a day. This includes Azure DevOps, TeamCity, and Jenkins. And the fourth pillar is automated build process. An automated build process creates a software build, including compiling, packaging, and running automated tests. This include Apache Ant, Nant, and Gradle. Please note that for each element, your team need to select a specific platform and tools they will use and, and you must ensure that you have established each pillar before proceeding. So what are the benefits of continuous integration? Continuous integration provides many benefits for deployment process. This include improving your code quality, triggering automated testing for every code change, reducing build time, better managing and technical debt, reducing long and difficult bug-inducing mergers, and increasing confidence in your code base. Possibly the most important benefit of continuous integration is rapid feedback to the developer. If the developer commits something and it breaks the code, he or she will know that almost immediately from the build, unit test, and through other metrics. If successful integration is happening across the team, the developer is also going to know if their code change breaks something that another team member did it in a different part of their code base. This process removes very long, difficult, and drawn out bug inducing mergers, which allows organizations to deliver in a very fast cadence. This example shown here is from the build option that were configured by the ASP.NET web application build template. In this case, the date has been retrieved as a system variable, then formatted via 
year, month and date and the revision is then appended. This is an example of a bill can be automatically triggered. This is a key capability required for continuous integration. But there are times that you might not want the bill to run even if it is triggered. This can be controlled with these settings. The authorization scope determines whether the bill job is limited to accessing resources in the current project or if it can access resources in other projects in the project collection as well. The bill job cancel timeout determines how long the server will wait for the bill job to respond to a cancellation request. And some development teams like to show the state of the build on an external monitor or website. These settings provide a link to the image to use for that. This is an example of the Azure Pipeline badge that has succeeded. That concludes this lesson. In the next episode, we're going to learn about implementing a build strategy. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.